have you ever heard of Juicy Lucy? Do you know Juicy Lucy was invented in South Minneapolis? Well, that's on today's menu with good old potato salad and grilled peppers. So let's get started. Here I have a pound of lean hamburger, a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, half a teaspoon of onion powder and half a teaspoon of garlic powder, quarter teaspoon of paprika and quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Mix it gently and try not to overwork the meat. It can get tough. I'm going to divide this into six balls. Two balls will make one burger. I'm going to put salt and peppers once I make the patty. You want to have two pieces of parchment paper, one for bottom and one for top. To make the patty, I'm going to put two balls on top of this parchment paper. Lightly press. Now to make a patty, I'm using this baking pan, but you can use frying pan and I'm just going to press it. You want to make sure you put enough pressure to flatten this out so it's not too thick. Now I'm going to season the meat with some Montreal steak seasoning. You can put a little salt and pepper if you like. I'll be putting two slices of American cheese in each patty to make this a round shape. I just use this lid and the extra doesn't have to go waste. You can just eat it just like that or with crackers. Time to put the cheese. Now you wanna seal the edges or fold however you like it. Just make sure you pinch it tight. I'm going to put this in the fridge for 10 minutes just so it holds better when you're cooking and I'm going to start working on my potato salad and turn on the grill. I'll be putting boiled eggs in my potato salad but you can totally skip that if you don't like boiled eggs. I will be grilling some peppers since I have them in the house. You can grill red onions if you like. I'll use this as a topping of my burger. To get them ready for grilling, all I'm going to do is take the stem off, cut this in half and then put a little salt and olive oil. So make the potato salad. Here I have 12 medium potatoes. You can boil or bake. I like baked potatoes textures better. Anytime you bake or boil potatoes with skin on, they will have little brown colors. So if you're boiling, you might want to peel it before boiling them. I'm not worried about the color. And once you add mustard and mayo, it will taste and look so much better. You want to cube them. You don't want to cut them when they're warm, so make sure they are completely cooled down before cutting or adding anything to it. Using five boiled eggs, after peeling, I rinse them to make sure there is no shells on it. So to dice the egg, you want to put the egg in the slicer one way. Slice it. And then rotate. And then rotate the other way. And slice it down like this and they're diced. And now to make the potato salad, I'm going to use one cup of mayo with olive oil. You can use regular mayo, but I like the other mayo better when I was trying out the recipe. And then I'm going to add quarter cup of ground mustard and quarter cup of regular mustard. You want to fold this instead of stirring it so you're not smashing it. 
So I end up putting one and a half cup of mayo and one cup of mustard just because it felt dry. If you are not adding boiled eggs, you might need to add less. Obviously you can add more or less depending on your taste. And now I'm going to sprinkle with paprika, freshly chopped chives, and they're ready to eat. Time to cook some meat and some peppers. Let's go. Obviously, I don't want to cook them on very high heat because I don't want them to burn. But from 150 to 155 temperature would be medium well. I just want to make sure there is no pink left. So I'm keeping a close eye on it. And guys, food is ready. Just remember, you want to wait a little bit before taking a bite because you can burn your mouth with the melted cheese inside. I had to keep a close eye on it when I was cooking it on the grill because the heat is not distributed evenly. I end up cooking five minutes on each side. You can do the same if you're cooking on cast iron. Are you guys ready for taste test? I know I am. First I'm going to try this egg and potato salad. the cheese coming out you can put any cheese you like it was a lot of fun making it on the grill the day was perfect not too hot not too cold I hope you like this recipe let me know if you'll be trying it this summer I'll see you guys next time bye for now